When you begin learning the Go programming language, you might hear about Go support for arrays and think, nah, I know what those are. But further into the docs, you start running into slices and you might think, okay, that's a new term, what's up? Arrays are pretty straightforward. They're fixed size list of data. You can check their length, set values by index, but you can't tack new values on the end, trim values off, or do anything else that would change the length of the list. For those sort of operations, you need a slice. A slice is a dynamically sized view or a slice of an array. You can create one from a literal or from an existing slice or array. Once you've got a handle on one, you can append new values to the end or re-slice if you don't need the value at the front, the back, or even the middle. Now you're seeing this and thinking, hey, that's great, but what about maps? I'm pretty sure we need them too, since they're the answer to every coding interview question. Well, don't worry, Go has support for them as well, plus structs and a lot more. I've just given you a slice of what Go has to offer, so for more info, check below for a link to the Go tour. Mm -hmm.